I don't know anything about these other sneaker YouTubers, but I know they're in trouble. What's going on everyone? My name is John. You're watching Soul Post and this is another Soul Post unboxing. Today we take a look at the Air Force 270 in the Olympic colorway. Now the Air Force 270 in the Olympic colorway pays homage to the Dream Team and their classic 1992 run. Charles Barkley that year wore the Air Force 180, which is one of my favorite basketball shoes ever. And the Air Force 270 is essentially a modernized version of that shoe. So while they've been releasing a bunch of classic colorways adapted for the shoe, they've never actually released a shoe that actually pays homage to Charles Barkley, who wore that shoe basically like his own signature shoe. Until now, this is the first one. First, let's take a look at the box. The box is the standard red and white Nike sportswear box. And the colorway is obsidian, metallic gold, and gem red. Now let's take a look at the shoe. The shoe has a much more premium look than past Air Force 270s. That's not to say it's a more premium release. It just has a more premium feel. You have the suede overlays as well as the giant overlay by the ankle and the largest Air Max bubble in the history of Air Max as well as the four foot strap. Those are kind of the standout features of the Air Force 270. And after owning quite a few pairs of these, I can honestly say this is one of the most comfortable shoes to release this year. Taking a look at the toe, you have a suede toe and this is obsidian. And the toe on this shoe feels a lot softer than other suede's on the Air Force 270, which is quite the feat considering that most of the Air Force 270's released thus far have a very soft suede. So for them to up the ante on this one, it's just taking my love for the shoe that much further. And you also have the small perforations as well as the gym red lining. Moving towards the tongue, you have the obsidian tongue, and this is a neoprene tongue, as well as the gold Nike swoosh right on the tongue tag and the blue pull tab. Also, you have red plastic overlays for the eyelets. Moving towards the heel, you've got the red four foot strap, as well as the little gold detailing right on the strap. And you also have the giant overlay right by the ankle with the gold Nike swoosh. Additionally, you have this suede overlay panel, and that just adds extra comfort to the shoe. Taking a look at the heel, you've got a neoprene heel with the back tab, and that's obsidian with gold Air Force 270 going down it. The medial is identical to the lateral, so you've got the giant overlay panel with the gold Nike swoosh, as well as the red four foot strap and the suede overlays. The midsole is a gradient blue to white midsole with gold speckles. And you have, of course, the large air bubble, which extends around the shoe. And you have an obsidian outsole. When I look at this shoe, I think of uh, quite a few Olympic shoes, but uh, the Air Force 180 is not one of them. But the suede on this shoe feels so much better than a regular Air Force 270 that I can't really dock too many points off for it. And overall, I think this is a great quality shoe. And if you don't own a pair of Air Force 270s, definitely pick them up because this is one comfortable shoe. Now let's get some detailed looks at the shoe and I'll catch you after the jump.
Air Force 270 in the Olympic colorway hits Nike Retails and Nike.com on June 20th for a retail price of $160. All right, everyone, this has been another Soul Post unboxing. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell icon so you're kept up with everything we do on the Soul Post channel. Check out soulpost.com for more news, sneaker releases, and sneaker info. Also, you can follow us on social media here. I'm John from Soul Post. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.